It's I'm, ironic that Nick Logan, who brought in all those wild writers, right, kind of basically tipped them out the kind of back well, door. Well, he, underst he understood. He understands. He understood. Pop. No, he understands pop. Pop is action reaction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pop is straight trousers and flares. You know, <laughs> yes. Pop is long hair and skinhead. Yes. So he understands the pop process in a publishing context. Yeah. Yes. And a cultural context. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because he's an old mod, so he's totally into visual culture. And so I think that it gave him great joy as well to pull the rug from under the enemy because he never felt like he'd been valued there. He mm -hmm. was paid a pittance to <laughs> handle these maniacs, which he bought on board, which were selling, you know enormous amounts of ads and you know copies for him but i think that also the the conversation went elsewhere and he's ever the zeitgeist right rider yeah yeah and so by 81 i happen to think that uh, paul morley and ian penman are the last great blast of inky music journalism i thought the way that they operated in terms of they were saying Look, you can call us pretentious, but what we're trying to do is strive a new, fa a new way forward. Sometimes it worked because it reflected the ways in which rock music in particular was trying to move forward. Mm. And so I think, as you say, the tide was leaving uh, the enemy behind. And Smash Hits, it, it was time for Smash Hits as well. It was time for The Face. <laughs> 